I was scared of EJ Manuel. <laughs> I thought he was good. Sure. I really felt like I felt like he was doing stuff. I thought he was accurate. He was for somebody who had an injury. He was mobile. I was scared of him. Rookie of the year. We should look at those odds because it's either Geno Smith or EJ Manuel, right? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Well, after after watching every play of that Pats game, I I would think EJ Manuel is if he stays healthy, he's going to win. He's good. Yeah. Congratulations to Buffalo. When was the last time they had a quarterback? Yeah. Oh, the that's Flutie? No, Bill fans and Raiders fans. Like, look, at least these guys are excited. Right now, we have more losses than we have wins. The fucking changes that have happened in the Cub organization are multifold. All right, they don't show because we're 5-14. and 14. And unfortunately, that's the criteria of them dumb 15 motherfucking percent that come out to date baseball. Who the fuck is this guy? Hey, who the fuck are you? Huh? Who the fuck are you? Okay, I like it. All right, go walk your dog. <laughs> no! No! Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Uh, cheer, chip, chip, cheerio! Uh, great London game we had there. Oh my God, terrible! Just uh, you know, another one we talked about all our nice history with the Jags last week, and add this one to the list. Yeah, Jags and Jets somehow on, on us. Also, I mean, we—I'm pretty sure we mentioned it, but is it fair that Jacksonville got to be there for ten days, and we had to go there? And, well, I mean, we didn't have to go Thursday, but. That they were there, like we were like the guinea pigs for them to like test out a team being there. Well, I don't think we knew like how it would be for them versus us, but I think in hindsight, it was clearly not fair. <laughs> um, it's, and Goodell even admitted, you know, that clip that like kind of went viral about him being like, yeah, we're just kind of, you know, whatever he said, seeing how this goes. And it didn't go well. I, and yeah, it's not fair for to have one team fully acclimated and then have another team that was there for 48 hours and just were clearly exhausted. I mean, they were even saying before the game, like Friday, like they didn't sleep basically and they were going to try and stay awake through Friday. Allen's like, yeah, I'm just drinking coffee. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I don't know. But the other side of that is – I think I mentioned that too. It's it's a four and a half five hour flight to California, like Seattle to Miami. I mean, I don't well, know. West Coast to East Coast is like, um, it's like known for being like teams going West Coast to East Coast and playing like the one o'clock game. Like, just aren't don't do that well. I mean, they win sometimes. I mean, obviously we could have won, but it's I think it's like a known disadvantage. Where teams going west to east and playing an early game, like don't. I mean, I don't know the percentages. I guess I could have done some research on that, but it's. I, I'm pretty sure it's a known nice. thing. Where, the, yeah, it's a disadvantage for those. A little teams. research. That's, I did do some, but uh, oh. yeah. So, um, I I think that the fact that it's supposed to be our home game, and <laughs> uh, they were there for an extra week. I mean, it's just it was on a disadvantage for us for sure. I mean, there was so much about the game that was just. Um, a joke from just the officiating, uh, the injuries, the changing out the grass for the turf. Like, what is that? I, I don't know. Just it was just a terrible game to even watch. Yeah, the refereeing. I mean, I sort of just <laughs> forgot about that, but it was unwatchable. Like yeah. it was like truly, it was unwatchable. You're watching the broadcast. The, the te- you know this what's on TV. I don't like the word telecast, but watching it, there's a touchdown, right? Mid, mid fourth quarter or whatever. They're celebrating. They show like the fans or something. I don't know what they did. They come back and we're lined up and it's third. It, it's or it's a 20. Or it's a 20. And there's another yeah. time where I think it was that same drive where they, they give us the first, they say first down. And then we're lined up, and this clearly the, it was third and one, yeah, clearly. And then, but they went offside, or so. so well, there's a penalty. Oh, it was a face, face hands to the face or something. You know, something they make up to like make the game even, basically. So the um, yeah. So the coverage. I was gonna say telecast, but 
I'll say coverage, I guess, since you don't like telecast. But the coverage, well, the officiating, unwatchable, like you said. And the coverage itself was just horrendous. The, they, like you mentioned like they, the replays. Rich Eisen, the, what the fuck? What was he doing? Was he the there first, watching the game? The first drive of the game, or the not the first drive, but Jacksonville's first touchdown drive, the play Milano gets hurt on, they – um. We stopped him. We stopped him. And then they called a penalty on uh, hands to the face on Oliver, and they they showed zero replays. And this is like an enormous play in the game. It was a five-point penalty. Five-point penalty. Because we stopped him. They get a field goal. They ended up getting eight points on that drive. No replay on that. So, and I just feel like, and you mentioned the Gabe Davis one. I just thought the – you know, lack of replays throughout the whole games. Had no idea, really. Like, you know, even, what was I mean, going it wasn't on? Just all, it was only, it was, yeah, and it wasn't only against us. Like, there was the on the second. I think, I think it was at, it was late in the fourth quarter again. The QB, they, the face masks touch. Allen pouting like he does. He gets the call, and it's like, guys, yeah, come well, on. I, I'm not trying to say that like the refs screwed us. I just thought the officiating in general was made the game unwatchable. I mean, yeah, I do think that the Poyer flag was absolutely bullshit and swung the, the game more than any other call. And I think it was a joke. I think it was the wrong call. I don't give a shit what the rule was. The only reason why Ridley got hit like that is because he turned his own body because the ball was tipped. Yeah, so when the ball's tipped just, like that, how can you get a defenseless receiver penalty? The, the defender's defenseless too. They're all changing their direction at the last second. Yeah. In there, it's like unnecessary roughness. Well, it's not really unnecessary when there's nothing that the guy can do to, like, avoid the contact. Like, Goyer's there. He's going to hit the guy. And then at the last minute, last second, Ridley, like, literally, like, spins and is, like, falling backwards. I don't know. I think there's got to be something where the refs – I mean, they have replay to try and get the calls right. If you really want to have replay, like, look at a fucking flag – and this that is going to be that monumental. It was third and eleven from the like the five yard line, and they the would have been punting would be from deep in their own end zone. The only thing I'm oh. in favor of is maybe like one challenge, one flag challenge or something. I, I mean, you can't well, yeah, be but... you can't be reviewing everything once, maybe once a half or or something. But yeah, right. I mean, sure, make the challenges available on penalty. Like, if there's no malicious intent by a defender and the penalty you have to just take into consideration how much the call is going to impact the game like these stupid like holding penalties that they call on the defense on like third and 20 that like aren't even near the play like those can't be automatic first downs like i I don't know man it's that shit just the poyer flag was just total bullshit and the jags ended up taking you know whatever six more minutes off the clock we ended up starting our drive at our at the ten instead of like wherever we would have started near midfield. So, you know, it was just it was just such a huge call. And the Josh Allen personal foul that you mentioned that the, the face mask to face mask hit, I agree that was a terrible call, but that wouldn't have been a drive ender for us. Like, I think it would have been we still would have had the ball like and could have scored. Yeah, and they it would have been call. second and third down, I think. But so like, but right, but it was still a bad call. Um, Totally agree. Bad call. But and then Milano goes out. I mean, that basically ends our Super Bowl aspirations, at least as far as I am concerned. I, I mean, the guy was a stud. He was the he's the MVP stud. of the defense. I mean, yeah. could we still win the Super Bowl or get the? I honestly was thinking like quite positively about the build. I'm like, this team actually, you know, they're a little slightly under the radar and they're playing amazing. The defense is playing great, and then we Dude. lose him, and then we lose the other guy that no, he we only talk about when he's hurt. Daquan, jo- Daquan Jones <laughs> out. True. I mean, and they're yeah. still mysterious about the injuries. I mean, local media all day will. The only guy that'll ever come up with anything is Tim Graham, who comes up with, "Oh yeah, the the COO and the lawyer are fucking." And, oh, they're fired. You know, does so, Pagula? Does he? Does anyone interview these guys? I mean, you talk about the COO. What is his salary? We're talking about a billion dollar of high bill salary. I mean, this guy, um, the, and that's the second guy they fired this year. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. But, dude, 
The defensive injuries suck. Um, no one talks about thought, it either. I don't think I, – I mean, I sort of miss WGR, I, but I guarantee they're not talking about this Roth guy getting fired. And this oh, no chance. They're just lawyer. talking about wide receivers in our offense. Well, yeah, you got to talk about all the way. Um, oh, I don't care about – we don't need to trade for anyone on defense. We need we need to get uh, Jerry, Jerry Judy. Who – who Jerry Judy? Has that guy ever – literally ever done anything? <laughs> I had the same conversation with someone today. I'm like, has he ever been healthy? Are we sure he's better than, like, what we have? Now, he wouldn't supplant Diggs or Davis. What would we have to give up for him? Like, I'm not giving up shit for him. Um, I have no interest in Jerry Judy. And it, not to mention, our offense is excellent, as it is. I it, mean, look dude. at it, it, look, is he going to take away – he's going to take uh, – we're going to have to change our offense if you take uh, – what's his name off the field? I mean, obviously, Diggs is going to be on there. You're going to take Gabe Davis off the field. I mean, the, the no, guys, the other guys on our team – We're Gabe Davis off the field. <laughs> Hardy has 11 catches. Shakir has three. Sherfield has five. I, I think that's that um, Sheffield, Sheffield, Gary Sheffield. I mean, you t- that's 19 catches for th- those are the, think, the other three receivers. We have Kincaid and Knox who have, I mean, these guys, I have all their stats down to Kincaid, 17 catches, 6.9 yards a, car- a catch. Knox, 11 yeah. catches, 6.8 yards a catch. I mean, yeah. w- what are we going to do with another receiver? No, we're fine. And, and, I'm not giving up a high asset. Like, what, we have a second, third round pick, whatever we need to do to get Judy. Like, I'm just not doing that. Um, I mean, what, some of these receivers are going swapping a sixth for a seventh. Okay, I would do that. Maybe keep the guy yeah. on ice or something. Uh, but to trade for someone like Jerry Judy when we just lost two literally crucial defenders in the middle of the field. But well, yeah, and I WGR, think I one. thought I thought we were going to be able to. I thought we'd be able to survive the white injury. But that one, I mean, yeah. you could see, well, it, you could see it cost us on Sunday because the way we were playing defense, we were, we had man coverage on Ridley and Kyrie was just getting toasted. Yeah. Elam so, had a bad game, but I had that written up, but he's going against good receivers. I mean, Ridley yeah, is a top tier receiver. And so is the other, their other receiver, uh, Jacksonville. He, he's getting got, paid yeah. tons of money. These guys aren't slouches. Elam, it's Elam's first game too. Like he's, he hadn't played yet this season. So yeah, what kind of but, confidence he has? He's had, he hasn't played in any NFL action and he was just, I mean, an excuse for everyone. Yeah, I guess, but he's just on a flight. Everyone's talking about how he's the worst first round pick we've had in a decade. I mean, yeah, zero confidence. And, uh, I mean, we benched him for Ingram and we, um, when the most important play of the game, on defense, third and four there, after we cut it to five, we had Hyde one-on-one with Ridley, and Hyde yeah. just got broke. How'd that work? Shockingly. I know. So, I don't know, man. I, I And I thought, you know, back in WGR and, and the media, I thought the, the, the way they were talking on Monday about the game was an absolute joke. Like, a total embarrassment. The, are we – the offense has been phenomenal since week one. They, dude, Allen against um, – Jacksonville was excellent. He he was so good mm. the whole game, but he got zero help from anybody. And I can go through drive by drive on how we asked him. But he was on point, accurate throws. He was good the whole game. I mean, his stats well, ended up being good, advanced stats, whatever stats you want to look at. He was excellent in the game. Georgia but boy we, didn't do shit. He he couldn't he didn't do anything against that defense, the running he, back. Horrendous. Oh. He looked like he was sleeping. The first drive, he drops the third down. The second drive, third and seven, we throw the swing pass to Kincaid. I don't know if you rewatched this play, but it was the most pathetic effort to get a first down by a tight end that I have ever seen, man. Third well, and seven, yeah, I think he, he just thought he got it. I still think he did get it. Wasn't that well, one of the ones? Re- didn't see a replay. but uh, <laughs> Yeah, and it was it, on the it, other it, side it, of the field, too, with this camera. So yeah, And they didn't talk like, about it. How often do you see Knox? Like, just Knox, he runs people over. He does. Yeah. And he would have got that extra yard. Kincaid just, like, went out of bounds. And maybe you're right. Maybe he did think he just had it. But regardless, it, that should have been a first down. Then we had, um, I think, our next drive. It was fourth and three from, like, the 40-something. We got to go for it there. I, I try not to harp on these that much. But the way that game was going, man, we were sleeping. 
in the first quarter. We needed a jolt. We're down. I think I was already. yelling to go for that one. Yeah. You got to just, you got to get something going, get, create a spark. So we were just like shooting ourselves in the foot and just like ending possessions earlier than they should have been ended. And oh. we had four holding penalties. How many holding penalties do we have this season? Well, the other thing is like, Allen running. He's not running the ball. He's he last year he averaged eight carries per game. I mean, I, the I don't know if they're fucking you know planned runs or whatever, but he's averaging four right. carries a game this year. He had eight last year, and in twenty twenty one he had seven carries per game. So yeah, he's not running a lot, but I think he's doing a better job at just getting rid of the ball too, on time and to open guys. Like I think even including the Jets game before he like self combusted, he was we were doing a good job. Just getting rid of the ball, taking what was given, and since the Jets game, when big plays have been there, we've we've uh, we've hit them. And when we had big plays in this game uh, against Jacksonville, we just dude the Gabe Davis drop after the Diggs deep ball, inexcusable, inexcusable. It's just you know Man, Knox. I mean, how many? Too, and him right in the hands. Knox had a big drop. Dude, Diggs had a chance to make some plays for Allen, didn't make any of them. Like. And any contested play, there was one down the sideline. There was the deep ball, which I don't know, man. He, his hands were on the ball. He just got the safety, just owned them. So I just thought it was a game where we had basically – I mean, I thought Diggs, Davis, and Allen were good overall, but Diggs made critical mistakes. And I thought the offensive line and the running backs – I mean, James Cook was a fucking bum on Sunday. When did we re-sign to Norris Searcy? Uh, I see this guy. I, I see Searcy running around in the secondary. Like, what the fuck? When did we get him back? What are you talking about? The, Number 25. The Norris Searcy? Oh, yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> I was right with you, man. I'm like, who is this guy? That's funny. Yeah. I. Uh, oh, yeah. You didn't come I, over I, to watch I, the game. Oh, brutal. Yeah, I... 25, I was, I was taken aback by that number change, too. Missed that. But Why was he? Why man, Why is he wearing that number, either? I, I don't get that. But. I don't want him playing, period. I just I, – we've drafted this kid in the third round this year. Everyone said he – well, from what I've heard from the game – Tyrell Dodson is who it is. But, well, it's yeah. it's Balen Spector season now. Or A.J. Dorian. Dorian and, and – you you're just going to ride, ride or die with Dorian and – T Bernard. Well, that, just, I mean, that's what's going to happen these, with these undersized guys. I think they McDur. I mean, guys make, getting paid what seven, six, seven, eight million a year. And I mean, you know, if he's not banging any of his subordinates, he probably won't get fired. So maybe he can actually do some work and maybe come up with a new defensive scheme because you got under these guys are undersized. I mean, you see him yeah. out there; they're going to be on the field. We're going to have to use them. I get. So they're going to do some sort of like two five. Four or whatever the numbers add up to, yeah, two five four or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that I I have faith in McDermott. I think he's done a good job this year so far with the defensive play calling, from what I can see. Um, but we couldn't get off know, the field on third down. <laughs> no, and that's another thing. I'm glad you said that because I wanted to talk. I wanted to just say this too. People talk like given our defense props and shit, like they were Not fucking that terrible. Game. I've heard it too. Oh, it's all everything's the offense. The offense, the offense, the offense. Yeah, we couldn't get first downs early. We talked about that. Just bad plays. And I thought pussy decision making by McDermott in the first half. That fourth and ten on the Jag side of the fifty in the second half should have gone for it there too. But dude, oh, we forced two fumbles. The defense made some plays, whatever. Those two fumbles we forced were after the Jags had the ball. One of them was a 17 play drive. Like, that's not, like, great. They didn't score, but you need to get off the field. And when the game was on the line, we didn't get off the field. So I, I just thought the defense was atrocious from the beginning, but I'm not going to knock them because they were pretty much atrocious from the start. I mean, it's not atrocious, but they were – sorry, they weren't good. They weren't good. They were – I mean, if you want to give them props for the injuries, they battled, sure. Well, but why did like Von Miller play? Good. Why did Von Miller play? I don't understand that. that 20 that's snap a- pitch count. Yeah, so I see this guy without shoulder pads on in the fucking late third quarter. Like, are you having tea and crumpets? Uh, what, what? 
I, I don't understand. That well, was that, it. Just makes no sense to me. If you if you you're on this pitch count, which we're not playing baseball. I know everyone says that term. I mean, you can't. You could just say snap count. Uh, not you. I'm just saying everyone. And it's just not. No, I, I mean, I mean, I have I know you don't like that. Day, just I have minute minute by minute. I have all of them. But well, play you. You just pitch count in the fucking third quarter. Then totally. Why, agree. why is he playing in the first quarter? I if he truly. <laughs> I would save him for the second half. <laughs> Is that just and not like common a, fucking sense? We call this guy the closer, literally. <laughs> just if he's on a twenty count pitch count, I'd have him. I'd sit him until the second half. Let him play his twenty snaps then. When not to mention, well, yeah, we could use him when the game's on the line. Also, that's when our guys are going to be tired. So, dude, Oliver played like ninety percent of snaps in the game. I mean, these guys were probably we, we we they were on the field for eighty eight plays. Yeah, he's a closer like Edwin Diaz is a closer. Give me a celebrate and get hurt or some shit. Uh, Epineza though. Yeah, he's I, uh, contract year. I mean, uh, I I wish I had a I was like that. You know, I'm on a contract and I'm just like, oh man, I'm gonna do so much more work in my contract year. Like, and the guy looks pretty good. <laughs> he's still. Man, these players all seem pretty small out there. But... He looks, he looks actually up in that. I was just gonna say, he looks like he's like bigger or taller or something. I don't know. Maybe he's got you know, lifts in his cleats. I don't know, but yeah, he he is noticeable definitely all season. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, to move on to the Giants, it's kind of <laughs> I don't know. This wait, Giants I want to make sure there's nothing else I wanted to say about the Giants. Well, I'm just game. saying like there's oh. not a lot to talk about with the Giants. Wait, game, I wanted right? to ask you this, and I wanted you to because uh, I, I was talking about the defense. This is the one stat I looked up. Um, oh wow! Which I may have I may have talked about it before, but you know everyone blames the offense for the loss every time we lose. This defense never wins us a game. We've talked about this on this podcast before too. We have three wins. Um. Since 2020, so that's 53 games. We've won three games where we score 23 points or fewer. Three in 53 games. And Kansas City's got 10 wins. 10 wins during that same number of games where they scored 23 points oh, or gotta, less. You got to tweet that or X is that. that, like a, re, is, that like a bad, is that is that lock coaching? Like, what is that? Well, like, that's all. I mean, 53 games, that's uh... – I mean, you know, you could probably take right. out because we win forty percent of the games by twenty points or whatever. But still. every single time we score twenty three or fewer, it's like I don't know, man. It's we just the defense can never just like win them the game. Like the the Chiefs beat Jacksonville seventeen to nine, seventeen to nine. So I don't know, man. I just I feel like our defense is. Um, well, I thought going into the season they were going to be terrible, which I was wrong on. They've been better than I thought, yeah, but they're wrong. a complementary piece. They play well when our offense is going off, but when they when it's really on the line, I still feel like they're not going to just be able to get the job done when it matters the most. I don't know. I could be wrong on that, but that's just still kind of how I feel. I guess they're better than I thought they would be, but still I don't think, you know, if we need them, if we really need them, they can get it done. I don't know. Well, all right. That's all I got. I guess on the Giants. I mean, so we're two losses in the AFC already. Right? I mean, I don't know. Well, yeah, I know. And these games, it's like an act of God for the Bills to lose. It's, it's, there's always yeah. weird ass shit. It's never like just a normal loss, but whatever. So the Giants coming into town, we haven't beat them at home since 93. I heard. There was mention of that 2007 really? game. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I remember that one. Well, everyone remembers that one. I mean, uh... well, we lost to them. Yeah, that was the Kavika Mitchell game. We lost to them. Didn't we play a night game against them? Maybe. I guess it would have been 2015. I feel like we had played a night game against them, and they they high rod. They smoked us at home. I think it was a night game. So, I don't know. That was probably, not, yeah. But. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I just remember that Giants, the 07 game where 
Eli Manning was a joke, and then he goes on to win two Super Bowls after that. That was incredible. And a guy oh, in a kidding. giant Santa Claus costume started beating me and Santa up. And the... <laughs> I feel like we were off early in that one. We were up 14 nothing. Yeah. And then, but this spread, yeah. Right. Ty, so Tiny Tyrod's going to play probably. I mean, uh, freaking Danny Jones. I'd love to play Daniel Jones at night on the road. Uh, I don't know. I mean, wh- I don't know what the hell Tiny Tyrod's going to do. I mean, the guy, he's just he's not going to turn the ball over, but is he going to try and throw for a hundred yards? They're going to like uh, just milk the clock. <laughs> is Barkley back? Churn butter. He's been practicing. I mean, um, they, what was his injury again? Ankle or something? I don't know. I think it was an ankle. Yeah. Well, so he's likely going to be not 100%. Um, I mean, their best, their not best target is Waller, who I don't think has really been doing anything. Um, we watched Taylor uh, for a while. I mean, he just doesn't try to score. So, I mean, he will take no turnover over points any day of the week. Their wide receivers are trash. Is Hodgins, their number one. <laughs> yeah, they have the Hodgins. Season? They have uh, Sterling Shepard. They got that Wandell dude that's always hurt too. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they've been getting just. I mean, they're having a bad season. They've had the hardest schedule. The but, I mean, yeah, they have injuries and their their schedule is bad. But to anyone that liked them last year, like they had. They had a negative point differential, I'm pretty sure, last they, year. The Dolphins stacked Jones, I think, like nine times last week. Or seven, seven something like that. Some I watched most of that game because it was on, right? It was that, – yeah, that game well, was ble- – and they almost backdoored it. They almost backdoored it at the end, but – Well, because it sounds like Miami didn't really play that good. But they – um that Miami defense, I don't remember them them, like, breathing on Allen. And to, for them to have that many sacks against Jones, like I mean, that's uh, their yeah, uh, their old line. Their old line is in shambles. It's yeah, their left tackles out. Their I think their center was out. I think he's still out. And then they have another like depth old lineman that's out too. But yeah, I mean, Dable. You know, it's fun to see him at two forty South, just housing beers and food. I mean, the guy's a slob. The guy looks like a slob. He what happened to wear... Dable being a genius, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's he's the one. I mean, he had to have had input into whether they're going to keep Daniel Jones. I mean, yeah. Jones is the guy. He fuck, I said it last year. I, I laughed when they gave him the, the extension. Who the fuck was going to give him half that? Was I there a team in why. the league that would have gave him half of what he got from them? Why not give him the franchise tag? I don't know. Or like the transition like, tag. Yeah. Well, why not just push it off? What are you losing? By? That, I mean, thank God we're not, yeah. not Giants fans. I, that that. I mean, I like uh, the dude from Oregon, Thibodeau or whatever, but he's nasty. But I don't know what else is on that team. Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't know either. It's it's. I think I said it on our podcast to start the season that we were going to lose the Jags and then this game was going to be our easiest of the season <laughs> on Sunday night uh, coming off the loss. So, I don't know, maybe that's one the only, thing that I'll... Yeah, the one thing I'll, I'll keep on... Like, the Chargers... Or, not Chargers. Jags play Colts at home and they just play two straight in London. I think Colts plus four, that's a... That might be my lock of the week, but well, and the Colts are pretty good. Like they're not terrible. Um, oh, and I, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed with Jacksonville at all. I thought that their offense was like I like Christian they, Kirk, and I like uh, I like both of their receivers. Right. I didn't see uh, Etn. I mean, Ingram, Etn's pretty good. Yeah, he had like 150 yards, and I was just gonna say, like, man. 15 yards rushing from our running back. Like, how, how are you supposed to win when you do that? Like, it's just, I don't understand how that's even possible to have 15 yards from your running backs in, a, like, a close game. Like, it's like, I mean, wow. So we didn't get first downs. We that went, The Bills went three and out. Didn't they go three and out, like, at least three times in the first half that I can think of off the top of my head? Well, just yeah. nothing was happening in the game. 
it was just a no. brutal oh, watch from start to finish. Anyone that like, <laughs> oh, cheerio, I well, watch the the match here. <laughs> but like, they're watching this and like, huh? Yeah, they're turning it off. Cook had five yards on his first run, then had negative uh, nine yards on his next four carries. Was this game we did a pitch? We did a pitch to the right on second and one. And yeah, he lost, lost like six. And it's just like, what? How's that even possible? Dude, you know what I like? I feel like when we've been pounding Murray, he's been successful like most of the time. He looks good. Yeah, I don't know why we're not. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. It's if we need to just pound the rock. Let's get Murray in there and Harris and you know. I, I just feel like gonna... I was surprised Harris has more rushing yards. Diggs on pace for seventeen hundred sixty eight yards, one hundred thirty three catches, and seventeen tuds. I mean, yeah, he's an absolute stud. He's an absolute stud, and Davis is even on pace to have some good numbers. Yeah, he's got a lot of touchdowns, but and he's got. I feel like he's had a couple decent yardage games too. Um, I don't know. I might have to re-sign that dude. Shit. Yeah, I, I, that's but, a hard pass for me. Well, it's funny. Yeah, Jeremy White on WGR is like two years ago. You know, before the last season, oh, give him twenty million a year, and then the, the other day he's like, oh, I wouldn't even give him thirteen million a year. I, I I can't do it. Like, dude, you're obsessed with receivers, but you don't want to keep this guy that you used to love. I, These I, guys, the the guys on GR in the morning. I mean, I don't know. I haven't really listened to show from the Bulldogs, but their takes are just getting like exhausting. It's it's just it's fucking pathetic, man. They, their obsession. It's like. They're talking to kids who just like don't know football and just all they care about are like points and like lar- long passes and like it, these guys are it's it's brutal it's brutal I don't know I he, I got went back and forth with him on Twitter this on Monday about how he thinks our offense is just like up and down up and down like our offense has been great for four like oh, three really good games and two bad games that's not good or something I forget what he said but. Yeah, he kept repeating that. But... Yeah, so I don't know, man. It's uh, so this game, uh, the weather, well, it's not supposed to rain. It's supposed to be like fifty. Uh, we're wearing all red, so I got to bust out yeah. my uh, my my suit. I'll have to uh, get it dry cleaned and pressed to to wear. What what t- you you'll be getting there early, probably noonish, right? <laughs> Bring a couple. Davis of TVs. on pace for Davis on pace for eleven hundred yards and fourteen TDs. Uh, when's the when's the lots open now? Where do you even park at games? <laughs> I usually just walk there. I don't know. I, well, I did actually drive last time, but no, wait. I mean, it's all over. I don't know. Park here, yeah, I just, park I was, there. I was praying that the game was going to get flexed out, but I didn't get that lucky. It's too early to get flat. <laughs> praying it gets flexed out. Jesus Christ. But uh, Giants, Bills, the Bills are 14 and a half point favorites. That's a Sunday night football game. Uh, it has to be a better game to, to put on Sunday night. I don't know when they're allowed to flex, but it's too early man. to flex. But like, OK, well, you're going to flex like I know like last week, Baltimore, Pittsburgh. Did you watch that game? It's like I would never want that game to be at prime time. I don't think Baltimore, Pittsburgh games are entertaining at all. And it, yeah, and like okay, yeah, everyone's defending. You know, the the fanboys are defending Lamar because there's a lot of drops. But you watch the end of the game; he had two turnovers that cost. Yeah, him how many fumbles does he have on the season? I mean, people, the the whole picture, the AFC picture is it's very muddled. I mean, it's the Chiefs feel, who get every yeah. fucking break. The Chiefs, the Dolphins, who played I, nobody. I um. um I say it every year about the Chiefs, and one of these years I'm gonna be right. But I just don't think they're that good. <laughs> uh, maybe that's because no, I keep just saying it. But it's... I feel I'm still more afraid of Cincy than I am Kansas City. I, I don't. I don't. The thing I'm with Cincy, afraid... that division's what yeah. with the Browns. Their quarterback doesn't want to play, or his shoulder is worse than like the doctors can't figure <laughs> out that he's hurt. He he needs some massages. I, the whole division <laughs> is very strange. Cincy, yeah. I mean, they did. They buried in first Arizona place. That team is terrible. Well, they only beat Arizona by. They didn't beat them by that much. Pittsburgh, yeah, but, Pittsburgh. For Kenny Pickett. But they're Kansas City. I just we've we've hand, we've beaten them basically three in a row. 
on the road. So I just know we could beat them on the road. I don't care. Like, we just got to get into the playoffs, and we have to win. We have six games where we're going to be heavy favorites here coming up in a row, except for maybe at Cincy, depending on how no, we're not going to be favorites. They're doing, but, but yeah. we, we'll they, be got to rattle off Cincy. five out of I, six. I guarantee the it. Bills have to rattle, rattle off five out of at, six. At least, 100%, at least. I mean, we um, only have three We're going to be favorite at Cincy for sure. We're not going to for be. Sure. The Bills will we not were, be. I guarantee you we'll be favorite at Cincy. <laughs> Guaranteed. We're, the, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they do look at lines in season, but we yeah, were they, favored by six in that playoff game at home. Well, so Which yeah, just like yeah, the Dolphins, they play they play the Panthers this week. I mean, that's yeah. Well, they way. play at Eagles night game, Sunday yeah. night game. That'll be interesting. But then they get the Patriots at home. They play the Chiefs in Man. fucking. They play the Chiefs in Germany. This is Chiefs home game, but it's Ooh, in Germany. That's a weird I game. mean, that's a, a very weird, weird game. game. I mean, that they, who yeah. wins? At least one of them loses. But then they play the Raiders, they play the Jets, they play Washington, they play the Titans, and they play the Jets. Then it gets tough again. But they have who they got at the end of the season there? Cincy. The... No, oh. they have Cowboys, Ravens, Bills. Oh yeah, they have an easy schedule. They're probably going to win the East. Um, you need you know they you need go... to have the Jets beat the Dolphins once, and I don't know if. Yeah, I, I mean the Dolphins can go happen. thirteen and four. Pretty easily with that schedule, I would think. I mean, I don't know though. They, they might just, get figured out. They might get figured out, but they, I mean, they, they would just run through. They have the so many good it's... players that their defense they is just out. trash, but trash. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, yeah, trash. it's a day ball, and you got like half their team is from the Bills prior. Like they used to play. I don't know. It's this game. I think hopefully it's just fun. I mean, I'll just be out there, you know, having fun. I guess <laughs> I'm not Tyrod Taylor. I, I don't know. It's... No, I, yeah. I'm with you. I got the bills 34, uh, 13, 34, 13 under. Eh. I think it could be just like 24 to three. I, I'd like to see like Kyle Allen get a lot of playing time. I, I don't want to, Mess around with well, him. He, just if it's twenty four three, we're not. Allen's not going to be playing until like the last drive. <laughs> they won't feel is, comfortable is tiny tiny Tyrod's going to like have come back? I don't know. I, I can't imagine Taylor. You know, I I just don't see how they score much. I mean, we have so many injuries on D. I don't know, but we're going to get Rousseau. I mean, if Rousseau, Epineza, Miller, all those guys are uh, Oliver, who's been awesome too. Like they should be like they should have a ton of sacks. Well. Tyrod gets rid of the ball. Yeah, he'll take sacks. Well, the other, the other, the other guy hasn't played the other defensive lineman for the Bills. He hasn't practiced this week. So, Russo. I think who's it? No, I, well, I don't have time to look it up. But it's just it's basically a nothing game. Let's just put him away early. I, I don't want yeah, to. Get off yeah. to a fast start because we haven't been doing that except for the one okay, game. Okay, it's got a All about my bills like Buffalo. Shit, I'm all about the bills like Thurman Thomas. We're not making a playoff. We're not making a playoff. I don't tip, I pay bills. Bitches call me Buffalo. Right. Hus- we'll do it live. Okay. We'll-, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can- I'll write it and we'll do it live. Right. Fucking thing sucks. And.